Hello, my name is Vahid Taslimi and this video I'm going to show you how to create a new report in Nintex Analytics 2010. Uh, for demo purpose, I'm going to create a new report called uh, Site Collection Size in which um, I'll be able to see my uh, site collection size across my phone. To do so, I'm going to click on New. In the very first step, uh, you have to choose the layout. One thing you have to remember, once you create a report, you can pretty much change everything, every aspect of the report, except the layout. So this is pretty important. Once you choose it, you cannot change it. We've, uh, we've given you three options to choose from. Default layout, which has got chart visual visualization and uh, table visualization, chart only layout and table only layout. Um, for this one, I'm gonna stick to the default layout, give it a name. Section size and press OK. Nintex Analytics has created the report for us, but it's an empty report. And to show data on it, we need to choose data. Okay. Um, in this screen, we see a list of data sets available to use. Uh, if you're wondering where these data sets come from, you can always go to the SharePoint Central Administration, go to Nintex Analytics Management. and click on manage data set. Here you see a list of data sets which are available to be used in a report. They can be customized here. Okay, going back to the report, I know which data set I want. I can easily search for it. The data set I'm looking for is called site collection by size. Yes, and as you see, gives me a demo visualization both for chart and table and a little nice description about the uh, data set I've used here. I'm gonna click apply and it loads the report with the default setting of the data set. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit the properties, give it a name, basically this name is what is going to appear in the left hand navigation column. Um, so what I'm going to name it, I'm going to name it size of the side collections. Um, Give it description as you like, displays, uh, size of each side collection in the form. I can choose a category in which category I want this report to appear. We've got a list of cate categories available to choose from. Uh, sites and pages look fine. You can select an icon for your report. Uh, you've got two options either you can give it a U icon URL or you can choose from one of the icons shipped out of the bar box in Nintex Analytics. I'm gonna use this one click OK um, this option asks me if I want this report to be visible in the left hand navigation bar yes uh, if I want the users to uh, see a snapshot drop down in the uh, parameter window yes um, here I can give it um, some keyboard uh, for example sorry collection now, the way is gonna system is going to use this keyword is going to relate all the reports having site collection keyword and show them in the related report section. So if you want to relate reports to each other, this is how you do it. Just give them the same keyword and system will automatically display it in, uh, in the related report section below the parameter window. Click OK and Next step is to um, change the chart visualization. Click on it on the chart visualization and give it a title. Uh, say side collection by size and a subtitle. 
Now you can use calculated parameter and you can uh, use the functions which are available in the Nintex analytics. Um, in this case, I'm gonna choose this function. Uh, I'm saying basically from, uh, we've got a function fn format date, um, passing in the report parameter start date and telling the function to format it uh, in yeah in this format um, okay I can you can change the color I'm gonna give, make it a green bold and this one I'm gonna make it yeah light green and italic you can change the height if you want but the most important part is to set what you want to display in the chart uh, by default is this one is showing the source relative this is percentage uh, actually I want the chart to show the total size okay and I can customize it I can total size we know it's a it's not it's not a number column it's rather a file size column okay and I want it to display in megabyte format okay and size maybe a name to this one size mb and yeah sites collections it's okay yeah mm, you've got four options to choose for the chart type um, for this one I'm gonna choose column chart you can change the color okay let's see what color we want maybe red yeah basically you can change everything you can control all aspects of the chart uh, for the title I'm gonna say yeah bold and if you want to show legend or not to show legend it's alright so I'm okay with the, the way the chart looks now click OK next step is to change the table visualization you can click on it and you've got pretty much the same options here uh, I don't need a chart uh, I don't need a table chart tail I don't need a subtitle either um, columns you can select which columns you want to display here you can check them if I check them here you see it's gonna display here um, and table style for example I'm I need I would like this to have this as an alternative rock background color you can change the order of the columns by just dragging and dropping them you know just like this and like the other one you can change the display format of each column um, for example we know this is percentage I'm gonna say yes yeah, it's, it's number but show it in percentage format okay and click on okay now a chart is pretty much ready to be used you can um, set the permission the scheduling I'm gonna cover scheduling in another uh, video um, you can change the default page size 10 and maximum rows which um, Nintex Analytics should retrieve for each execution 10,000 is pretty much enough uh, you can change the parameters um, you see these are the list of parameters available to be used a web application I'm gonna rename it to scope and uh, I don't want user to see this parameter so it's always going to be all forms this is a calculated parameter uh, which represents all forms I don't want user to view these or change them start date um, you can either give it a, a value or you can choose a calculated value I want this report to report for a year time so what I'm saying is that whatever the end date is minus it by one year so this is another function fn add years and I'm passing the end date as a parameter and telling it to add minus one year and it's okay I want the user to be able to change view and change these and for the end date again I'm gonna use another calculated parameter uh, which is 
daytime start of tomorrow basically uh, today minus one year is going to be your day date range exclude deleted size a side collection um, yes exclude them and I don't want user to view or change this one either okay our report is pretty much ready to run you can uh, click on save and wait for the report to run and here is the report it's loaded uh, in a way that we ask it to load you know the same chart title description if you hover your mouse here you see it displays the description and it's being displayed in a source and pages category the parameters you know we just um, told the report to display starting and date and hard the scope and exclude deleted sites collection parameter and here here are the related reports since we gave it a uh, keyword site collection um, for short these three reports have got site collection in the, as their keyword in this video I showed you how to create a new report in Intex Analyst 2010 thanks for watching